here called um, OpenSSL.CNF, and I can't remember exactly where it is. It's in here somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. We need that to be like that. Okay. So now what's next? Let's build a key now. Who are we building a key for? Me, of course. Hold on a second, I think I might have missed out a step. Bear with me, I'll be right back. Here we go, I found out what I forgot to do. If you have a look here, I forgot to create a directory tool called keys. So here we go again. Build key Richard, UK, London, London, snake oil. Uh, I believe we set that also to snake oil. Host name. Now, I'm going to set that to Richard. Basically, the common name there would be, as it says there, your name or the server's host name, but we only have it as my name. Email address is the same, no challenge password, no company name. And there we go, let's see if it's dropped it into the keys directory. There we go, certificate request, and we have the key there. So now, Let's jump over to the other server. Now the tool I'm going to be using uh, WinCP. This is what we're going to use to transfer over the um, the certificate request to and from the server. Okay, run, run. There we go. Host name. It's the host name of the server we were well, the, the VPN server. Uh, the username, root, password is Viata. You might as well save that. I'm going to save the password again. Not a good idea for production, but just makes my life a little easier for the moment. There we go, we've SSH'd into the server and we're using etc. Open VPN and then there's all the um, certificates and keys. Now the directory we're going to transfer it to is to the keys directory again. So we need to go into here and we need to go to this is the um, C drive of the workstation here. Program files, and we're looking for open VPN, or say keys, and there's a certificate request file in the key. We need to transfer these over. So let's copy. See if those have gone over. Okay, so uh, there they are, the certificate request file and the key. And there they are on the server, exactly the same sort of view. Now what do we want to do? We want to sign the request. Let's uh, build the vase again. 
we won't do a clean all because a clean all would get rid of all of my files okay and we need to do a sign the request there we go so that's the request that we created yes there we go certificate certificate request certified and it's committed it and stuck in the database so now with a bit of luck if we search through here there we go we can see the certificate the request and the key so I certainly didn't need that key but we transferred over anyway okay there is the certificate and copying it over so we're now ready we've got a certificate certificate request again that could probably that could go and then we've got our key so we only need the key and the certificate terminate session you might as well let's copy these two now and we want to put these into here and we're going to edit this dev ton is fine, UDP protocol is fine we need to put the uh, IP address of the server here's the parameters CA cert we didn't transfer that over did we let's go and do that now there it is where do we need it program files open VPN config we need it in there at the moment so let's transfer that over so that'll now work client.crt that's wrong that should be Richard what's the key that's that Everything else look okay? I'm going to um, comment out that as well. What else do we need? I think that might be about it. Okay. So we've got our certificate, our CA certificate, we have our key we have our client configuration now let's see if it works shall we hold your breath ah I'll tell you one thing we've missed out actually is here we go we want to rename this and I'm gonna call it tap zero let's go into the configuration oh did that wrong hold on Let's go in and find it. Dev ton is fine, dev node. Let's change that. I'm going to call it my tap because it's not called that, it's called tap zero. Let's save that and close it because it might need to come back there in a minute. And let's do connect and see what happens. Ah, hold on a second. I think I've missed out a. that needs to be remote in there save close let's see what it does now okay it's connected and there we go we've got our remote VPN connection let's have a look now can we ping so at the moment we're sitting on this workstation here we've just VPN in and we've been given an IP address in here as you gave us the next one the server automatically takes 172.16.0.1 so we've been allocated dot two so let's see if we can actually ping the uh, VPN server see no reason why we shouldn't but let's see 72.16.0.1 and there we go okay can we ping 192.168.10.100 no we can't why is that 